Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a aircraft carrier and uh, I actually want to be launching a plane from one. So I have to make a aircraft carrier with a launching system and I'm pretty sure the only way I can pull this off is using tractor beams. But first things first, I need to build a aircraft carrier. So let's get to it. Okay, so for this aircraft carrier, the first things first, obviously I'm going to start off using the hull pieces. And uh, I want to grab as many of these as I can. And my plan is to have just two long strips of these um, on either side. And uh, I guess I want the middle to be hollow for now because I do want to build this system where it launches a plane. But first, let's finish the frame of this aircraft carrier. Alright, just a bit of a quick update. Um, yeah, so this is how the aircraft carrier is looking so far. I put a little bit of detail into it, but it is getting a little bit complex now at the top, as you can see. I'm trying not to add too much detail because I want this to really function well. So as you can see, I left this hollow section out, and this is essentially where I'm going to put a bunch of tractor beams. But right now, I think it's looking pretty good, and uh, it floats pretty well. I need to add some propulsion. Let's keep going. So, the boat has propulsion now. Uh, so we're gonna give this a quick test. And yeah, everything's pretty smooth. I've added some counterweights on the other side of the uh, aircraft carrier here because uh, the left side is a little heavier due to the, uh, the bridge and everything. Yeah, it's pretty good right now. I have helicopter steering to keep it nice and simple. And I'm pretty happy about this so far. We're gonna give it a paint job, I think, and then get to work on the mechanics. Ooh, guys, I think this looks awesome. Look at this paint job really quick. I don't have any decals just yet, but right now this paint job is pretty cool. The main thing is it definitely looks like an aircraft carrier, especially if we uh, get some distance here and have a look at that thing. Yeah, that is definitely an aircraft carrier, all right. Well, I could drive this thing all day, but I still need to finish it. Okay, so the basic idea is, if we go into gadgets here, I grab the uh, tractor beam. I want to have like a bunch of these pop out and maybe form like a, a quick wall maybe behind a plane. And then if I go into configuration, we have this negative output. And if we do any key binds or any controls on the negative, the magnets will actually repel an object, pushing it. So that's how we're going to do our launch mechanism. All right, I've made a little bit more space. Um, so I've made this hollow section a little bigger. And I've stacked some of these uh, retractor beams ready here. So I'm going to use a servo, I think. And if I just put a servo here really quick to test the concept. Um, let's put this at 90 degrees. I should be able to... There we go. I can aim the magnets. And that's the general idea. I'll be pushing a plane like that. And I also think I want to make some kind of ramp. Like stick out of the runway. That would be pretty cool, I think. There we go. I have all of these gaps here filled. Um, I'm using logic blocks and a selection of rounded 1x2s here. And there we go. That is looking pretty good. Oh, it's a, it's a, little, it's a little jammed. Okay, we can fix this. Ah, you know what? Actually, I think I know what the problem is. It's the uh, top portion of magnets. There we go. So I have to have... Less magnets or tractor beams. I keep calling them magnets because they used to be called magnets. Well, let's start working on this ramp I said I was going to make. So the idea is I want a section of this runway to kind of just pop out from the aircraft carrier and have a little of a, a ramp going upwards facing towards the sky so it's easier to launch a plane. And I think how I'm going to do that is using more servos. All right, let's have a look at the angle at 20 degrees. Uh, here we go. That's a pretty good angle, actually. I like that. And I can have the magnets come out and boom, push the plane. Oh, guys, I, I think this is coming along really nicely. Press A and everything gets into position. There we go. And the plane on here will launch when I uh, when I launch it. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we really need to test this concept. So what I'm gonna do is spawn in some kind of object really quick. Here we go. All right. Let's uh, turn on the ramp. It's in position. So three, 
two, one, launch! Whoa, what? That is so powerful. Oh my god, that might break a plane. Okay, well, it's time to show off the final product. I'm really, really proud of this aircraft carrier. It works. I have a barrier up now, as you can see. Um, so basically, this is where the plane has to stop. Um, the plane has to get onto here. It has to be a pretty small plane, unfortunately. Raise the ramp and the magnets. And um, boom, we launch. <laughs> This is gonna be really, really satisfying if we can get this working. But now it's time to make a small little plane, and yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so the length of the plane pretty much needs to fit into this dimension here. Uh, the wingspan is fine, but the length of the fuselage pretty much needs to be this size. So it is gonna be a little icky-bicky little plane. Alright, I'm gonna grab my cockpit. I think I wanna build some kind of delta wing for this plane. Let's get our dragon jets in place and really quickly yeah we're just gonna build a quick plane pretty simple really all right well i've just slapped together this little dorito plane here i have a helicopter engine in the back because i want to be able to uh yaw the plane pretty easily on the deck of the carrier hopefully it flies well you know what? That's not too bad. That's that's pretty good, actually. I think I did a good job here. And this is definitely small enough to fit onto that little ramp as well. So, uh, yeah, things are looking good. I think I'm just going to give this thing a quick paint job. Okay, well, now this is definitely a Dorito. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, so let's give it a save. Let's get our aircraft carrier ready. Now, none of my friends are online at the minute, so I don't have any help. So what I think I need to do... Well, I need to do some timings and delays for this to really, really work in my favor. Alright guys, I have made my modifications and this is my idea. So as you can see here, I got a little bit of a control panel going on here. So what I can do is hop out of the plane when it's in position, uh, just activate this control panel, as you can see, everything starts kicking in. And then after a couple seconds, hopefully, there we go. It will activate the uh, the magnets and boom. So that is a pretty cool little system how I can do this all by myself. My Dorito plane is, well, the wingspan is a little long. So I might need to do some modifications there. Maybe I can make the wings fold in. And after I've done that, I think I'm ready to go. The Dorito plane is now modified. So I'm able to fold my wings in, which is definitely going to help trying to navigate on top of the, uh, the runway on my aircraft carrier. And I'm going to have a lot more space now. So this is good. Okay, well, I think it is time, guys. I think it is time to really, really test this system. So what I need to do is spawn in my aircraft carrier. Okay, aircraft carrier in position. So let's take off. Here we go. All right, let's plan our landing here. I'm going to swing back all the way back around this side and swing back around, basically giving myself some space. Here we go. This is it. Easy on the throttle. This is going to take very delicate controls. Activate that yaw just so a little bit. Oh, come on. This is so close. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, hey, I landed. It's just um, not in one piece. Now, my plan actually is really simple. Number one, land on the aircraft carrier. And number two, launch from the aircraft carrier in, in one piece. Let's get into the air. Here we go. Second time's the charm, guys. All right, let's slow down. I think what I'm going to attempt to do is fold in the wings just as I touch down. Come on, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, 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 fold those wings in. Ah. Oops. Let's go again. This might take a few tries, guys. I'm just realizing that Trailmaker's physics aren't always up to the task, you know? Oh, I don't think my... I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Oh, no! I mean, the plane's fine, but the aircraft carrier is a little broken. I'm, I'm missing a landing gear, but I'm quite happy with that. So let me try and get into position here. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. The, it's a little... Oh, okay, I forgot how wonky this actually is. But we're in position. Oh, no! Oh, no, what is happening? Oh, no! Wait, 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 let's, let's, let's recover. Let's fix this. Come on, come on. Oh, I, I think my wing is right on the control pad there. Oh, no, I'm really stuck now. Oh, oh I've activated it. <laughs> oh, no, I disactivated it. Okay, this might be the way to do it. I might have to activate it with my wing. Come on, back up. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Um, this isn't... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, what I think needs to happen is I need to switch these wheels out, I think, for friction pads. I don't think the wheels are quite cutting it. Okay, well, we have the Dorito version 2.0 now. Well, version 3.0, actually. We had to change the wings, remember? But we have friction pads now, so hopefully this works. All right, everything is in position. Um, I just need to take off now. It's gonna be a little difficult with these friction pads. Come on, there we go. Enough momentum and speed, we can take off. This is good. All I need to do now is kind of just line myself up and uh, hopefully this all works. There we go, come on. I think I need some more vertical stabilizers. It's a little bit wonky. Here we go, here we go. Fold those wings in. Oh, no way. <laughs> so close. I don't know what happened there, guys. We're coming in for the landing once again. It's so difficult to get a nice, gentle landing. Come on. Come on. Oh, you know what, guys? There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so I just need to sliver across the runway and get my plane into a good position. There we go. I am accidentally moving the uh, aircraft carrier as well with my thrusters. Oh, I hope they don't mind. This is it. Oh, come on. I need to push myself on a little bit more, get myself more centered. Do you know what, guys? That'll do. Let's, uh, let's do the exciting part. Activate the control terminal. Oh, I need to get into the seat of my plane. Here we go. Now or never. Oh! <laughs> Guys, no way! That actually worked! Holy smokes! Wow, okay. That actually worked way better than I thought it would. Concept is complete. We have fully successfully done the mission now. I mean, let's do it a couple more times. That was awesome. Pretty sure I'm able to land back on the aircraft carrier. And we still have a load of runway to land on. Can we get another smooth landing? Nope. I think what I'm gonna do though this time around is actually challenge myself. I think I'm gonna uh, turn these engines on on a toggle. Um, let's just go for two engines on for now. The aircraft carrier is moving. Oh boy, I'm so excited. If this works, I'm gonna be s the most satisfied Trailmakers YouTuber in the world. I see the carrier. Let's slow down on the airspeed. Now I got to be very careful because that aircraft carrier is moving. This is good. This is, this is looking really promising. My approach is good. I'm gonna slow down. Really, really gentle landing. This is what we need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm on the boat. I can just wiggle myself off using that helicopter engine. Here we go. Yes. Okay. All right, let's get into position. Just gotta slide. Hope you guys don't mind if I just slide across your deck really quick. All right. Who's ready for our second launch? Let's get the control panel activated. Oh. I fell off the ship. <laughs> Let me try that again. There we go. Let's get back into... Oh, no, no, no. Into the plane. I always jump in the wrong seat. Here we go. <laughs> and you can see how much power that actually has. I didn't use my dragon jets there to take off. That was all the magnets doing its thing. All right. Well, I'm going to land once again because I just want to keep doing this. This is awesome. I need to get to that control panel and I need to turn off the system. Here we go, here we go, land, land. All right, we're on. Let's turn off the system. Everything goes back into position. 
Some something glitched out. My uh my magnets turned back on. Let me uh try and fix that. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, if you're a VTOL plane, I guess that works too, you know. Okay, so the plane is in position, and I think we need to do one final mission. And I think the mission should be take off from my own aircraft carrier and land on the main one here on the Danger Zone Island. So we're heading into position now. I see the islands. Wow. Trailmakers can be a really good naval game. Let's activate that control panel. Here we go. Get into my plane. Open the wings. First person mode activate. Let's look behind. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that is so epic. And off we go. Goodbye, aircraft carrier. And hello, bigger aircraft carrier. What do you think, guys? Do you think I'm going to finesse this landing? I think so. Nice and easy. Gentle on the controls. Oh, guys. Woohoo! The most satisfying landing you've ever seen. All right, well, guys, there you have it. I successfully did the mission I set out to do today, which is launch a plane from my very own aircraft carrier using the tractor beams. This has been such a blast to try and figure out and make. Um, I had so much fun with this one. You guys should definitely leave suggestions down below on what other concepts you want to see me pull off. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked it, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.